<sighs> I finally did it. The reason for me doing this test, because there's apparently a lot of you that are considering changing brands or just doing what I did, just adding another brand to your bag. And you have a lot of questions. Again, I like reviews and examples for what I do on an everyday basis. So pixel peeping does me not really that much good. It really doesn't. And for those people that are talking about bokeh, the, the, this camera's better at bokeh on full frame compared to uh, mirrorless cameras. In my 24 years of being in business, I have never had one single client, not one, tell me, you know I love that image? Why, 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 why do you like that image so much? That bokeh. The bokeh. Now, nobody ever talks about the bokeh. How are you going to use your camera? Okay, there's a lot of great cameras out there. Both my Canon Mark III and my Fuji X-T3 are in my bag. I have not used my Canon camera since I purchased the X-T3 because of its usability. I wanted a camera that had all the bells and whistles, yet still give me, you know, images close to what I'm already used to, or at least better than. But I was fine with equal to. Just give me a fun device to use again. It really helps me be more creative when I'm enjoying the experience. And that's what these new cameras are supposed to be doing for us, you know. The auto-focusing features are fantastic, but if you're not having fun with your client, it's the final images is what you're working towards, not your pixel peeping. This is what I want you to do. We're not looking at those, can you blow it up 400 times so I can see the difference, man? No, we're not doing that. I want you to be like your clients. When you look at both of these images, can you tell the difference? Which is Canon? Which is Fuji? But here's the other little conflict. Nobody's computer screens are the same. And some of those computer screens, you have to look at them dead straight on. If you're on a little bit on an angle, things aren't right. The contrast isn't right. You got non-reflective, reflective screens, all of that jazz. So stripping all of those possible features away. I want you to just look at both images, tell me which one you like. Simple. This is not about degrading a camera model or a brand. It's not what this is. I'm just curious if you can tell a difference. So in the comments, this is where all this is gonna go down, okay? I want you to write, number one, when you see that image of both images together, okay? I want you to write number one, and you tell me which is Canon, which is Fuji? Is A or B Canon or Fuji? That's all you have to do. You can leave comments after your one, two, three, four, five. Why don't you put a space in there and then leave comments? Uh, I love comments. I love hearing you guys' thoughts. This is why we're actually doing this because somebody is looking for a better review right now, a better usability review. If somebody's scared to death to pull the trigger to make any kind of change, maybe they want to go Sony and they've been Nikon and. We're all in the same darn boat. I get it. I really do. But I wanted to get a piece of equipment that worked the way I wanted it to work. That's it. That's all it is for changing brands for me. Okay? So, here we go. I'm going to throw these images on the screen. I want you to do what you do. The following video will be about the results. This video is all about you and your opinion. Remember... One, two, three, four, five. A or B is Canon or Fuji. Then you can write some discussion. Okay? If you skip those steps, I'll know you didn't see the entire video. <laughs> All right, my subbies, I appreciate you. I truly, truly, truly do. Let's go ahead and do this thing. Go!